Okay, so I'm gonna do a breakdown of a bunch of these bags that I've got. This is a Boundary Prima. Um, I've had this for a while now. Love these. Um, magnetic clasps. My favorite thing about them, that. A lot of eggs don't have this right now, I love it. Uh, easy access right here, so if you wanna get in, open it up, you're right in there, super easy. So I can actually fill it way up to the top, which is great. Extend these as much as possible. So you get a bunch more expansion on it. That's really cool about this bag. Um, it has side access, which is cool if you want to use that. Zippers are a little snug, but they're water resistant, so water won't go in. I actually haven't used this side entrance all that much. It's cool to have it, um, but I haven't really used it that much. Uh, you can strap things to the bottom, which I haven't really had a need to do, but the option's there. Uh, my water bottle holder, it stretches on the side, so I have a, usually have a pretty big water bottle, so this has actually worked out well. Um, and then I just loop a little bongo there to wrap around the top of it to keep my water bottle from falling out, because it does fall out sometimes. There's no like sticky mesh or sticky part on here to, to keep it from falling out. Um, there's a small pouch here, never used it. I guess you could stick stuff in there, but uh, if I filled that up, then I wouldn't be able to get my water bottle in there, so I haven't. Um, oh, uh, yeah, I guess there's hooks here for hooking more stuff on, on the side. Again, I haven't used that. It's there though, if I guess if you want it. What else have we got on this bag? This has been like my go-to bag for a while now. I obviously was like, this was my bag. <laughs> um, top pouch, you can get into it pretty easily. You can just fill it with a bunch of things. There's a magnetic clip holder here. So you can put more stuff on the inside to divide them. They've got a key holder for your keys. I don't know where my keys are, but you can lock them in. I've never used it again. It's a feature that some people seem to think they like. I put little like eye, um, key ring holders on there so I can grab it and easily open it. Um, I've ripped a couple of these little like tabs off of these bags just the way it is. Handles really sturdy I really like that. Love the fact that the laptop compartment is separate from the bag on the back so you can drop in two, two spots there for you to drop things in. It comes with a um, if you want it like a, a lap or a a holder for putting like papers and pens and different things in there. I was using it for a bit, but it just got too bulky. So I just really didn't have a need for it. So I got rid of it. Um, super comfortable straps. This has been great. I haven't been, been sweating, had any issues with it. Traveled with it. Um, I have used this to put it on top of my, uh, my suitcases and things like that, which works out great. You can slide it right down. The, what else is on there? Oh, this side handle, which a lot of bags don't have. This has been awesome. I use it all the time. I don't know why every bag doesn't have it there. It's been fantastic. Um, other than that, it's a great bag. Uh, again, these magnetic clips are awesome. It's on. That's it. Take it off. Great bag, great size. Love the colors. Clip this on. You're good. So, really cool bag. Great. Comes with this this strap comes off it can turn into a waist strap on the bag which is pretty good too um, i use this for all my batteries uh, for my xt3 camera um, then divides it up there i put uh, fuji xt3 with one lens on it um, and then i put two other lenses here and another lens underneath so i'll get four one two three four lenses in there um, more, more cables and stuff if i need to uh, it's great for traveling around slap it on your shoulder been super happy with it need to get my stuff it's been a great little bag uh, if you need more expansion which is really cool which everybody should be doing um, unzip that and now it's a much bigger bag so you can put even more stuff in there if you're traveling around it's been awesome really really like this just like a hair too small for all my lenses to be safe in there um, but yeah that's the bounty prima system uh, super cool setup. Uh, let's see what else we got here. So I wanted to try Chrome Industry stuff. Was super stoked about this bag. Uh, I really love this idea of being able to put stuff on the outside. Super cool. Um, the straps are really comfortable. Uh, it's, a, it's a really comfortable bag. 
for me it was just too small it, it uh i only got it's i think it's a 21 liter bag something like that so just not enough room for stuff this version comes with the really cool seat belt buckle really cool the new designs and some of their uh, more expensive stuff doesn't have the seat belt buckle anymore um so what i found out was the on the inside it's way smaller than i was expecting your laptop goes on the inside so if you want to get it out you have to can't get to your laptop anyway there's no there's no way except for opening it up and going in there and getting it uh, not ideal for me but some people it's great uh the straps on the side this is this again this is what what made the difference for me having this on the outside i can put my lunch box on here um and then all my other stuff on the inside but it just gets really narrow once it gets filled up on the inside uh not enough quite enough room only um zippered area to put any other stuff in this bag is right here and that's it and if you fill that up then this space gets a little bit limiting on room as well which is unfortunate so it's a really simple bag uh if that's what you're after then this would be a great one for you i love the style of it if i was just buying a bag for style not ergonomics then this would be a bag for me because uh, as you can see it matches all the stuff i'm wearing <laughs> and yeah great bag um super comfortable super comfortable but just for me it doesn't hold enough stuff i'm looking for more like a 30 liter bag this is uh 21 or something like that maybe it holds a bit more once you kind of unfold it a bit more maybe closer to 30. you can check the specs online but nice nice product but not quite for me then comes this one chrome industries this is their bravo 3.0 I really thought this was the bag for me uh, at the end. It was super cool. Um, the roll is really easy. It opens up huge on the inside. The uh, bag on the inside has a, comes out actually. So you've got a tote bag and your bag if you want to. Um, yeah, lots of room inside of it. Um, again, people complain about them being gray on the inside because you can't see stuff. A lot of bag companies are going with like neon colors. That's an option as well, but they didn't do it. Uh, the material is really nice. Uh, water resistant, waterproof, whatever. If that makes a big difference where you live, maybe it does. Not a huge deal for me right now. Um, the clip to close it up, pretty easy to do. Um, getting in and out, I can hold a ton of stuff to it. And then if I want to strap stuff on the outside, I can strap to the outside as well, uh, which is what I use this bag. This is just my Burton like lunch box. I can slap that to the outside, strap it in, and then I can hold more stuff inside of it if I wanted to. And the laptop and stuff all goes on the outside, so you don't have to go into your bag to get to them. There's dividers here, so you can put your laptop. It's really nicely padded, and it doesn't hit the bottom, so it stops before it hits the ground. So if you drop your bag, it doesn't damage your laptop. Um, then you can put a tablet in there as well, which is great. Um, and then some other pockets and organization stuff inside of it. Simple stuff, everyone has it. This extra zippered bag or, or pouch right here is great for just a few other items. It doesn't go all the way down, it's just a small pouch. I had a problem with this. I have a bigger water bottle, which doesn't quite, um, one sec. which this is the water bottle I use. It fits in there, but it's a, it's a tight fit. Um, and if I have stuff inside the bag, pushing out on it, then the bag, the bottle is really hard to get in there. Not ideal. Um, these two pockets on the sides are wicked for just like putting little things inside of there. Love those. Backpack is super comfortable. Straps are super comfortable, really well designed. Um, again, there's a clip right here. It's not the seatbelt clip that the other one had, but it's a very light bag, which is awesome. So there's no, not a lot of weight to it to begin with. Clips on, these move up and down. So depending on how you like to wear it, that's really cool. No strap around the bottom, but I found that just having this one is all I really need. So I thought this was for sure the, the like winter bag. Um, I really liked it, really liked it. 
and then and then I got this bag. This is a Wander Provoke, or Provokey, or Provoke, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I didn't like it at first. I thought I'd still stick with the chrome bag, but then I used it more, and the more I used it, the more I realized that I really love this bag. So this is my go-to now. It's a 31 liter. Um, this buckle undoes, rolls up. Tons and tons and tons of space in there because I always carry too much stuff. Uh, inside, it's black on the inside, so you can't really see what's going on in the abyss inside of here. But it doesn't really matter too much because I can get to it this way. So if I stick stuff in, I can also get to it from the back, which is awesome. Um, and they have also put their laptop stuff on the back. So when you have it on your back, the laptop's not sitting on the outside of the bag, it's sitting right against your back. So it manages the weight better. There's like a passport pocket hidden thing here, which some people love that. I don't keep my passport on my bag because if someone steals my bag, I'm screwed. I keep my passport on me, my, on my person. But some people love this idea and the zipper tucks away and hides, cool. Um, same kind of stuff as the other bag. The main thing for me is just to be able to like, they've got these loops on here. Zippers are super smooth, really great. Um, and if I want to get into my bag to get stuff out of it, I don't have to go in from the top. Or if I wanted to, I can go in from the side. Easy enough. These zippers are a bit smoother to open than the other bag, than the boundary. So that's just really easy. Um, but I usually just, you know, grab my bag, drop it down when I want to get into it. I don't have to move the straps out of the way. I always forget this, but you just grab it because they're on the back. And that's it. I'm in. Easy. It's divided up top compartment and a bottom compartment and then your laptop and tablet can go in here easy enough. It's got a latch there. I don't always use that because it just kind of gets in the way. Then inside of it, lots of room to put all kinds of stuff in here. Um, it comes with a camera cube. I got the, uh, the original camera cube. Um, I haven't seen the other one. I know that the dividers are larger so they won't be or they're thicker. So you won't be able to put as much stuff inside of it potentially. Um, I think this makes this little divider is great. It actually was it gave me um, way more room than I needed uh, for my small like mirrorless kit. I think they changed the design of this so this doesn't have to go in there and then zip up and then you take it in and out all the time. I think that's built into the top now. I think uh, on the new bag on the new cubes. But um, yeah, I found this was just, it just took up a little bit more space than what I needed. When it is actually in the bag, and it, you just lock it in properly, strap it all in. When it's in there and you have the bag on, da, 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 and you want to get your camera out of there, swinging it around. They always say this is great, but it actually is really great. And then your bag's right here and your camera's right there. It's like just well designed. It works really well. Um, I never use that on the boundary bag. I just found it was a little cumbersome and I always want to be taking my camera um, and carrying my camera by itself. But this, this works well if you like to keep your camera in the bag. And hey, hey, cool, look. Another pouch for your batteries. Great, separate from this one if you needed to for whatever you need for. Um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. I've opted not to use the camera cube and actually so I'm just gonna take that guy out of here and what have we got here I'm using oh I should say there is a pouch right here as well just for slapping extra things on top of the bag which is great so I can just put like my my headphones and my glasses case fits in there, whatever kind of random small things, but they do sit inside of here. So that can get in the way potentially, but it can also tuck up on the inside. So then you still have room there. Close that up. Uh, the water bottle on the side, it expands quite well. No problems there for me. Awesome, love it. Uh, if you don't want it to be opened up, you can zip it closed. Don't know why I would ever do that because I always have water on me. And those are some of the main things. Let's see here. Oh, just a little carry bag for all my 
know, bag smart makes it whatever that is for all my extra stuff cables little hard drive uh, chargers i just slap that inside of here keep it on one of the sides so it's out of the way and then usually my lunch box right there uh, if i don't want my lunch box there lunch box right there sweet and then my new mini camera cube bam right there it's heavier so it sits at the bottom so when i put my bag down it just sits nicely it's a little better weight at the bottom that's the other thing that's great about this bag that the other bags didn't do this one just sits by itself it'll sit up which is great so you're not putting your bag down and having it fall over getting dusty dirty all that stuff so the camera cube or this this mini mini bag what are they calling it camera cube mini plus i have it loaded up which is great with my fuji xt3 35 mil lens another 23 mil 12 mil um a 56 mil little lens baby and uh a 56 a zoom lens as well or sorry yeah one of these is a zoom lens and then it all fits nicely into there and so i can access it a couple ways all my lenses if i want to switch them that way and then from the top let's pull that out of the way camera's ready to go right there um so yeah it's a great little bag highly recommend it and then i've just got a pouch that i added this is a chrome industries pouch um and i've just stuffed inside of it some of my batteries and cables card reader lens caps extra ones and then that just sits on top as i need to if they had a pouch a zippered pouch on the top there that would be even better they don't but that's the way it is so there's no actual zippered areas to hold stuff inside the bag that's the only real downfall right there um so that yeah that just fits in my bag really easily i like this little case and then there's also if i want to carry it with the straps i have tucked away the waist strap which is like the prima bag it also has a waist strap i've hidden it underneath because i don't like them on there i don't really use them but i'll use it on this if i take it by itself um two little straps that clip on to this bag so i can wear it around my waist which is kind of weird um, i could probably i think make these long enough to make it strap on so i can wear it around like a shoulder bag i haven't tried it yet but that's my plan because that's how i like to carry my bag um, these waist straps are great uh, if you like to use them it has a little zippered pouch on one of them for coins or whatever you want to put in there which is also stretchy kind of cool and there's also a rain guard inside of here i never really use it but the options there for you in case you do want to use it So that's most of the things. The boundary bag also came with this little thermos lunchbox thing. Uh, I've been using it for just like lens adapters for PL or EF lens adapters or whatever else, just sticking things in it. It's a nice little uh, thermos kind of bag, just a handle, very, very simple. You can just slap it into your bag as a cube. Um, then Chrome Industries also made this bag, which was gonna be my competitor to this one. This is way lighter, way lighter. Um, if you want something more rugged, this is a pretty sweet bag uh, with more options on it. This is the Nico Camera Sling, um, which has more compartments on the inside. Um, they designed their zippers in a way that they're really... Um, actually, this one's not bad. Some of them are tough to open because of the waterproof uh, resistance stuff. You could always put something on here if you wanted to. Actually, this one's really nice. Uh, more holding stuff on there so if you want something like an upgrade i guess from this bag would be this one chrome industries again it's the nikos camera sling um get in here dividers underneath here a zipper to hold more stuff you can slap a tripod in there if you like a small tripod and then there's also a pouch on the back for some more stuff geez the more i play with this the more i think this is a cool bag um yeah that is the the Nico bag and then they made this other little one the urban EX uh, it's nice I don't like the zipper can't can't do it unless you grab it again so sure it's 
just not my style. Two little handles on the top, I guess you could use those. I don't know, I traveled once, I stuck all my socks and underwear in this thing. That's how I used it. Um, you know, you might like it, it's super light. It's not, I don't love it for what it costs. Uh, then they have another little pouch, really flat, thin one. If you like this kind of size, it's great. I don't really have a need for this size. And a zipper on the top, you can just slap things into it. No dividers, just plain, straight up little pouch. Very basic for what you pay for it. I think I'd probably just get a different one. Unless you need something that's super water resistant and this is rugged and very durable. If that's what you're after, then that's, that's what you want. I don't really need something that rugged. Uh, Timbuktu makes these for your uh, cell phones. I got the smallest one, this is a medium. I wasn't sure if it would work or not with my Pixel 3 with a case. It is the perfect fit. Um, there's also a little pouch in the front, which I'll never use. But once it's on your bag, if you don't have a chest pocket, I always put my phone in my chest pocket right here. But if I was in the summer, I wouldn't have a coat like this. This is awesome. It's like super easy grab and go for your camera or your phone. If you just need to get photos, traveling around, open, grab it out, take your pictures, put it back in, done. Easy, super easy. This is like the perfect pouch for your phone, for me. I love this style. So that's pretty much wrapping up most of the stuff. These two handles are nice on here. Um, yeah, slapping stuff on the front of this bag. It's great. Uh, my lunchbox actually fits really nicely here, a little bit differently. I'll show you that. So these clasps are a little interesting. I haven't really got the hang of them yet. They're pretty simple though. Um, open it up a little bit. There's an extra locking clasp there. So I can drop my lunchbox in here. And then, so it doesn't fall out all the time, I just take the hook, let's make it a bit longer. I take the hook, wrap it through my handles, slap it on there, bam. Now my lunchbox isn't going anywhere and it's nice and secure on there. This has been great. And there's also a pouch. Right here. A whole front area for putting all kinds of stuff in there. So like I've got my toiletries little bag. This is a Burton little pouch as well. You know, I drop my like little mini tripod adapter thing, my self or my, my, my charger for my laptop in there. Pretty easy. But yeah, um, a lot of people, all my friends have always talked about this bag. And I was kind of just like, yeah, whatever, whatever. I didn't really love it. And then now that I've got it, it's gonna be my go-to bag for I don't know how long, but for a long time, I do think. Cause it's, done, it's, it's, it's doing everything I want it to. Oh yeah, there's another pouch on the side here. So this could be for whatever little things you have. I've got uh, my pen in there, uh, a little Velcro tie in case I need to like latch onto something like a bungee. And a couple things of hot sauce I picked up on my last flight <laughs> when I was in the States from Cholula. That's that. Um, just for kicks, I've got one other bag I can show you. Uh, one moment, I will get it. This is my Peak Design sling bag. This is a 10 liter. It's perfect. It's perfect. This is the best bag. I use it for every film shoot I go on to. If I gotta carry around with some V-mount batteries, whatever I need to carry, I just slap them in here. Um, any other accessories fit in here really well. There's a zipper pouch, great little dividers in here. So I can put lens, uh, I got right now I've got some filters in here. Um, and all the pouches are stretchy as well. So they hold stuff and stretch out, expand. The, there's your dividers. Another divider here, nothing on the back. Easy, great, great handle to grab. Um, pouch on the front for some extra stuff if you want to slap things in there. And that's also got some dividers as well. So you can split things up. 
Uh, if you want to put your tripod, if you got a little one, you could strap that under there. This doesn't actually open up, it's just it's just there. So it's this actually the expansion for this pouch. And then uh, yeah, that's about it. It's pretty straightforward. It's a great little bag. Um, I also use it this way. So if I'm shooting and I want to use it as a support, I just swing it in the front. It's got my batteries and my lenses, my extra lenses in there. I just put my camera right like that. And then I've got a, a support for my elbows so I can shoot, move around. It's like an awesome bag. I just take it on all my shoots. I, whenever I forget to take it, I always regret it. Um, so I'll carry like a little Tokina lens in there, a wide angle, a couple batteries and whatever other accessories I need for like a C300 or something like that in here. This is awesome. Peak design. It's a sling bag, 10 liter. So yeah, that's, uh, that's my long winded review of a bunch of bags that I've got and I got to return a bunch of them now so I can just keep the one. Um, yeah, that's it. Hope that helps some of you make a decision. The Wander Provoke bag. Great. Love it. Really happy I got it now. Thanks guys.